we established SGB because we felt there just had to be a better way. There had to be a better way to produce renewable energy at a cost-effective price that could compete with petroleum. Here at SGB, we are changing the way the world thinks about and consumes renewable energy. SGB is a bioenergy crop company using molecular breeding and biotechnology to advance Jotropha. Jotropha is a non-food energy crop that grows well on marginal land, in essence, in areas that don't support food crops. So if you were just to go out and plant wild Jotropha that you picked up um, you know, off the roadways, uh, you would have all sorts of variation. Guatemala contains a vast resource of what we call germplasm, or genetic variation within the species. And so what SG Biofields has done is to collect that. We have some 12,000 genotypes now, and brought those back into our, what we call our germplasm resource centers, or study sites, where we can evaluate the genetic diversity and make selections for traits, phenotypes, if you will, that uh, will lend themselves towards this genetic improvement of the plant. So by going to the center of origin and collecting the wild Jotropha, that's where you expect to find the most genetic variation. Indeed, we have it. The diversity we've captured is just amazing. Um, I've never seen so much diversity in a basic wild plant species. Most advanced biofuel technologies require tremendous capital expenditures, hundreds of millions of dollars for steel in the ground, fermenters, algae raceways and the like. You look at Jotropha, it's a seed you plant. Farmers have developed this technology, refined it for thousands and thousands of years. We don't have to reinvent the wheel to make biofuels. What you see here is a mature fruit cluster. If you look at this fruit, you crack it open, you see these beautiful Jotropha seeds, which contain about 40 to 45% oil in our best varietals. This oil is exquisitely well suited for making biojet and biodiesel fuels. SUB has a proprietary technology that allows us to generate hybrids of Jotropha on an industrial scale. And what we've been able to determine is that, like in other plants, you know, Jotropha uh, has what you call heterosis or a hybrid vigor. If you have two parental lines um, that combine well, you get progeny, which out yield either one of the parents. And we've been able to test these hybrids, uh, not only in Guatemala, but in our customer sites in India and Brazil, and we challenge our hybrids against the best material that, that they have available. What you see in front of us is a commercially available variety of Jotropha. It's not uniform, it's not productive, it has uh, sick leaves, and actually it's been growing for three months. Behind this plot is a collection of our germplasm at the same age, three months, and it's night and day difference. You see the productivity. We are using these plants here with molecular breeding in the laboratory and sophisticated breeding methods here in Guatemala to produce very high productive hybrids, which will be game changing. We engage customers very early on in our product advancement process. And what that means in our industry is conducting trials together with them, making sure that they have the ability to see, to test, and see the performance of our product before they actually embark into a big project. Customers really appreciate that we're taking this uh, rigorous approach, science-based approach in developing a new, a new crop. Personally, I've been working in emerging markets for over 10 years, and it's incredibly fulfilling for us to be able to bring this technology to the areas of the world that need it most, to bring long-term sustainable economic development. And I look at the thousands and thousands of jobs we create per project we develop, again, just bringing economic opportunity to areas of the world that haven't had this opportunity in the past.